guys. Bet for another build video. Um, you'll notice there's not much has happened since the last video, but that's the way the builds go, you know. It's um, when the enthusiasm's there, things happen fast, and um, I've learned there's a difference between wanting to have something done and feeling like doing it. I want to continue with this build, but if I'm not feeling it and I've got to push it, it's not going to happen. Yeah. You don't get into hobbies if you're not going to enjoy it, so. And there's, there's no deadline, so who gives. Anyway, <coughs> what I thought I'd do today is drill these holes on the inside, bust this rail off, and um, drill the holes for the electrical conduit. Um, <coughs> I thought I'd do a video of that so you could see what I was doing on the drill press next thing as I forgot to do it when I was um, doing these ones last time. So I'm going to use this uh, started bit to uh, just tap here. Oh, tap's probably not the right word. I think I'm talking about tap and die. Um, I was watching a video the other night. There's some good videos of old boys doing workshop stuff, and they have a wealth of knowledge to pass on. So I recommend watching them. Anyway, I was finding that um, after I punch here. Sometimes, if you just go straight in with a larger bit, the tip skips around that, and it might actually bounce just out of the actual tap uh, dimple and sit next to it and rest up against the ridge, and so you end up with it being about a mill out. So, um, uh, if I just start it with a tiny little, uh, I just give a little love tap, enough to, to make a nice dimple there, that this drill bit will seat into nicely and I'll get it just so. I don't need to do it for these holes but I want to practice doing this sort of stuff for when I do need my holes to be more exact. So um, The other thing that the uh, fellow said is if you have a starter drill, I'm not going to go right through, but if you do have one that goes right through, don't have one over 25% of the diameter of the other drill because otherwise they'll grab and they can, you know, shoot your piece around and um, it ends badly. It hurts. Or it breaks stuff. So, start a drill. And a little bit of fluid, cutting fluid. It looks after your drill bits. It's probably not needed for this sort of stuff, but... I'm doing it anyway because I can and this to me this is playtime and if you're gonna play you want to play with your toys alright actually I probably need to line that up a bit better before I get carried away yeah see that very well but that's made a, a nice um, dimple in there. I could have dropped it right through but oh, no need. While it's still lined up with with the part so I know it's not going anywhere I'll put in the larger bit before I move on to the next hole. Also Always wear your safety glasses. Your eyes are important. Ask a man who has one. If you can figure that one out, eh? have it. 
easiest thing to do is to switch bits and uh, it's a good idea to um, clean the swarf and crack off your part and out of your vise too between uh, putting things back in. I know this is crazy over the top for what I'm doing, you know, that's not the point. It's just good practice and it's a hobby. Right, we'll do the rest in um, movie magic mode, eh? So there you go, I've got, um, oh where am I, here I am, one hole put in here, just in front of the, where the uh, bogey is mounted, I'll be able to feed a wire into, into here and run it along the inside of the tube to come out here, this will probably be for the headlights wiring, uh, got two holes here, see if I can get your light better, and that will be a, a way to feed wires to these two holes here where they'll come out just before the rear bogey mounting point and these ones are just after the front bogey mounting point and I've got the same on the other side of the bogey mounting point for the um, lighting these ones will be uh, feeding um, servo type leads down to the, to the rear of the truck It'll keep them out of the way. I've got to take to these holes now with the old round file here. Smooth all that out because you don't want to be slicing up your wires in there. So I'll, I'll smooth that out and I'll also um, I'll probably put a dab of liquid insulation tape or a plasti dip around these edges of these holes just to, to soften the edges. And um, that is pretty much what I've been doing, breaking apart the uh, rails, putting them into the... Um, it makes it easier for you to mark it out put it into the drill press, uh, drill my holes. So um, once these are done, I can bolt this back together and they'll be on the inside of the rails. And um, I think at that stage I'm very, very close to um, setting it up as a roller. I actually got some um, pinions and a spur gear in the uh, during the week turned up so I can put an old brush system in. Um, to do some rolling tests so that'll be coming real soon I'm going to continue with this off camera anyway I'll leave a, um, a few links in the description to some of the um, channels that I'm subscribed to where, um, where I uh, uh, pick up tricks and tips from guys that are experienced I don't do any of this videoing to teach anyone how to do stuff because I'm just a uh, Hobbyist, I do this on the weekend. I'm not an experienced machinist. I have no training. I work on computers So um, for my day job, you know software and all that sort of stuff so This to me is purely hobby grade and if I'm doing things really ass about face and retarded That's why I don't have training. I learn from watching YouTube and just trying things out in the weekend so um, yeah. 
thanks for watching anyway and next video will be a rolling video I hope catch us later